I've made a lot of videos where I'm stealing designs and I've also made a video on why I actually steal them. Now, some of you guys are against it. Some of you guys really understand the process. Now I'm going to briefly explain one more time and then I'm going to get into it. I put this t-shirt on this morning. I was like, man, I really like this design. So this is one of those times where I would like try to emulate this style. That way I can understand the actual concept of this print and I can start to create more designs that are similar. So basically I'm drawing inspiration from a different design and I'm stealing it, basically copying the entire design, not to plagiarize, but to practice and understand the process of how to actually create this design itself. Now, I'm not gonna get too in depth with this. I already made a more in depth video that I'll link at the end of this video. And I also did see some more funny comments about like, man, you steal designs, you steal designs. But I saw two of them that really stood out and stay to the end, I'm gonna mention those as well. So let's hop into the computer so I can show you how to become a better designer. One comment that I did get about stealing designs is that the person said that they don't teach you this in school because it's not recommended minute that's completely false because check this out i got my bachelor's in graphic design this is the first time i ever used my bachelor's degree <laughs> this is a fifty thousand dollar paperweight but that's besides the point you're gonna learn more on what you actually execute on so this is how we're going to do this basically you find a design that you want to emulate so this is the same design they just put it on a different uh, t-shirt right here so i'm going to right click this and save this image now i'm going to go to kittle.com and i'm going to click on new project and now i'm going to put this in inches i'm going to put this at 300 dpi and i'm going to do around 12.5 inches wide by 16 inches tall create now we can name our project grow with us now i'm going to click uploads and we're going to upload our image i'm going to click on it and I'm going to do this right here. I'm going to scale this up to about almost the same size as the canvas. I'm going to click layers. And what I'm going to do is lock this right here. Well, actually, I'm going to unlock it. I'm going to lower the opacity. And then I'm going to lock it. Now I'm going to click on text. And we're going to see if there's something with a similar font style. So I'm going to click on this one right here. Scale this up. I'm going to right click this. Ungroup. Click this one. Delete. I'm going to save this one for later down here gonna put this up here and now I'm just gonna go ahead and put grow copy paste with us now I'm gonna look for something that's kind of like a psychedelic hand with these flowers and whatnot so I'm gonna click on elements let's type in hand flowers I don't see anything too much all right so I'm gonna go back to kittle.com and I'm gonna look through their templates see what see what they got going on all right so here Let's see, we got these little mushrooms with these clouds. I like that. I'm gonna open that right now. So I opened up a few different designs, but I had to go back to kittle.com to look through the templates to get some more inspiration. So basically I'm gonna start mixing in different types of templates together to make a whole new design. So I found this one right here that has some flowers to it. We're gonna copy and paste this one over. Now I'm just gonna put in the same text just for the moment and now check it out we basically have a template off of stealing a design so i'm gonna go back unlock this one and although it doesn't look as great as the original now i understand the template of how they created the original one now i understand the concept of having text that is misaligned and some of them are behind the actual images this text right here is in front of the images now understand why this text right here looks good on its own underneath everything itself now basically we understand the foundation of how the original design was made now we turn it into our own design we drew inspiration from that so that we can learn the process so that we can start turning this into something that we actually like with a similar style to how they created theirs i like how this large text is right here with three words i like this sentence down here and then I also have, like how the design is woven into this this actual text right here now I'm gonna use a little bit of chat GPT I like to quote grow with us now I'm gonna tell chat GPT to give me some quotes that are similar okay so a lot of these are pretty good for that bottom text but we need something that is short so three words never give up believe in yourself stay positive dream big act embrace the journey find your passion live with purpose create your destiny choose to be happy okay so i got lots of different quotes i'm just going to go ahead and pick one and see how we can create a design around that i might go with this one embrace the seasons there's a lot of different routes we could have went but let's go ahead and go with this one so i'm going to change this one embrace i'm going to put the 
and I'm going to change this one to seasons. Okay, now I'm going to move this down. I'm going to go back to ChatGPT. Now I need a quote about embracing the seasons and I need it a lot shorter. Five more and make them one sentence. Or bloom where you're planted no matter the season. There's a lot of good ones. A lot more creative than I could ever be. So I'm going to go with that. And then there we go. All right, so now this is where we really play with the design. We're really going to change this one right here to some other icon. So let's move this over here for a little while. And then we're going to type in plant. Let's see what pops up. I actually had to find this from a different template. Go ahead and copy that one, bring it on over. Okay, so as of right now, it looks like a complete duplicate of like what we started out with. And now at this point, this is where you have the option to really change into something of your own. You really have to change all the quotes, change it, uh, the design, and then eventually it'll look like something that you created on your own. But that's not the point of it. The point is now you understand this template of a design. And in the future, whenever you start creating different designs, you will remember this. This is a part of adapting different techniques. So you start becoming a different designer of your own. So now let's see if we can play with it just a little bit more and see what we can come up with. All right, so we change up the design a little bit. Well, uh, the colors look all crazy, but this is one thing I like about Kittle is that we can select everything and then we can change all of the colors at once. So as you can see right here, we have something that's in blue. We're gonna have to change that to, let's see, try that in black, that works out. Now we're gonna change this yellow. We'll change that to cream. Now this orange right here, also change that to cream. All right, so now I'm gonna pull up the original design compared to the one that we stole. All right, so feel free to let me know your thoughts. If you can see how we use this process, to pretty much create a new design on its own. I'm also gonna add a little bit of a border to this one. That might work, maybe not. Anyways, let me know if that worked out for you. And here's those two comments that I was referring to. Uh, Sean said Virgil said he used the 3% rule. RIP to Virgil, I love Virgil. But uh, one thing I have noticed, I saw someone made a TikTok video on this. Uh, so I replied, much love to Virgil, but his logo is 100% from Glasgow Airport. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but let's go ahead and check that out. So here's that airport logo, and that's the same exact logo for Off-White. So I don't know if that's a 3% rule or not, but man, that's a dope logo. I really like that. And that's literally the definition of good artist copy and great artist still, because he really implemented this very nicely into everything else and gave it some new life. I wouldn't really recommend the 100% stolen route but this is the definition of it's not who does it first it's who does it best now the second comment is really funny to me if i can find it all right all right so here it is jordan said <laughs> so when will the improvement happen to you been years and design still ripped in ass <laughs> hey man i guess it's true i've been still in designs for years to implement and learn New processes, but my designs are still ass. You got me on that one. <laughs> and I just figured I mentioned Kittle does have licensing where you can use this for print on demand and for your merch. I know that's like a big ordeal and conversation right now, but if you go to kittle.com slash licensing, and you can actually read about this and how you can actually use this for your commercial projects. Feel free to use my link down below to sign up for Kittle. My name is Rich. If this video helped you out, comment, like, subscribe. I'm gonna see y'all next time.